Listen, I need to explain something very deep and quite shocking. This is a super dark lost episode of High School DxD, really haunting my dreams. I'll explain. If you haven't seen or l least heard about the anime, High School DxD is a Japanese light novel series written by Ishi Ishibum and illustrated by Miyama Zero. The story centers around the around the Isio Haidu and is a perverted high school student from from Ukyo Academy who desires in becoming a Harlem King and kills its very first date. Reversed for a reveal to be the fallen angel, but is later revived as a devil by Riz Gimorori to serve her as a devil family. Isos depending on relationship on Raz proves dangerous to be the angels, and the fallen angels and the devils. I don't like series for two reasons. One, because there's too much strong nudity, and two, there's a character I hate in the show named Asia. Asin Ishina. Asiua. As, but you could quite figure out why I checked it out in the first place. That's because I've heard of it, one of my friends said, in other countries, who decided what X-rated content there's available in other countries. That anime has got a 15 rating. However, there's a lost episode of High School DxD that is way too disturbing and etc. One day I was playing some Lego Batman Free Beyond Gotham on my Xbox 360 until I got bored. So I went to my computer and checked my email. While scrolling, I found that one of my friends sent me an email about a missing High School DxD episode. I was going to tell her that I don't like the series, but I read the entire email anyway. I saw that the post to the link to the lost episode they were talking about, which was a WebM file. I downloaded it and played the episode. For some reason, there was, wasn't a cold opening like I saw in most of season 2, two episodes. It just went to the low, low budget shit intro as if someone on YouTube produced it. It started off with a short of Israel's Gail's house, and that night, it stayed on TV for about 50 seconds before it cut to static. I knew there was where this was going. This episode was a ripoff of Carl's AVI, but it was really trying to crash on the, that curry pasta. Then it cut to another shot of the house, but inside is display the living room until yet again cut to static. But it stayed on for about two minutes. Then it showed Asia, she walking left and right into the dark room for about 35 seconds until she walks up on screen, staring at the complete crap out of me, like if she was gonna come out of my computer. But no, the living room she then it cuts to again and static, but stays about for two minutes. Then it showed Asia walking into the right room for about. 35 seconds until she walked up on the screen scaring the complete crap out of me like if she was going to do something. It stayed for on for a minute until it went to the static for one more minute. Then it came back on TV with the room but nothing but black. But Asia was still the same. But the last thing was is that the static disappeared. Asia had now blood eyes and everything and dark sounds were playing in the background. Once again there was static but it stayed on for about, about 3 minutes this time but it cut back to with the reverse of the music. It then showed a disturbing image of PBS P head, and then it just cut to something that scared the living crap out of the daylights out of me. It showed what seemed one of my favorite YouTubers named Markiplier. He was completely covered in blood and had black hollow holes for eyes. It stayed like that until it went to stack for five seconds, but it cut back to Asia, but now, now she was much scarier than I thought. The room she was standing in was drenched in blood, and Asia was now all had a dark smile. Then it cut to, well, you know the rest. Asia was much, much darker as I had expected. She then walked into the room with a red silhouette behind her. She had an eye missing and her other eye had lots of blood in it. And then I heard footsteps rapidly, getting fast. Then it showed the rust Jim Archie scare jump scaring me with bloodshot eyes. I clicked out of the video and deleted the file, including the email that was given. After that, I emailed my friend and asked him about what the hell he was trying to, s to say to me. He briefly apologized and told me told me it was all a lost episode. I then decided to email the studio who produced the show and the manga, and I tried to get an email from them. Two hours later, it was written by a form of the lost episode, and I heard once, and this is what the email said. Dear Anonymous, thank you for taking the time to write to us. We are quite surprised at your story about the unaired episode of High School DxD that you discovered. We are very grateful you contacting us concerning it. We can personally assure you that Tink, TNK was well as the anime studios claim no other ownership or liability whatsoever regarding to the episode. However, we still feel that the explanation was in order. Unfortunately, we are unable to provide the details of the episode's creation, so we are simply don't know how this happened. Back in 2013, we received a DVD in a package with no return address with the words Mr. Hayazaki were written in on the package along the DVD. 
There were a letter from Mr. Hayzaki stating that there were, he was the biggest fan of the high school DXD series and asked for his approval of his fan-made creation on television. We were quite flattered and the fan would send us a homemade episode for airing. However, when our editors viewed the episode for retirement, we were for retirement, they were quite impaled plied by this nature. Sure, with a few of the staff who viewed the episode believably went into shock and had to be transported to the emergency room immediately. Due to the horrifying content, we absolutely had no plans for the air of this episode. We passed the tape to a private collector, but we believe they were dismayed to discover whatever copies have been made. We ask that you do not please release any contents of the tape or letters to the public, as we don't want to upset the viewers and love and supporters of our older people. With warm regards, Isha Isabomi, Re-Executive, Vice President, Colonel, Counsel, and Secretary. What was this email thinking? They were just trying to copy off a lost episode right before. After I read this, I experienced a lot of nightmares for about two months. I just couldn't get seen to get this lost episode in my head. If you see this lost episode, don't watch it for the love of God. And that, my little praise, was Asia Dub dot dub dub web m a um uh, high school xd lost episode curry pasta uh my final thought by ashley written by ashley armbruster uh my final thoughts on the story well before i get to that i want to say thank you so much for the story ashley armbruster now i am going to be completely and utterly honest with this episode i did not like it now, if you're wondering why I did not like this story, I am going to explain the best of my abilities and calmly because I won't be sitting there. I'm not going to sit there and do a rant or anything like that, but I am going to say right now that this story was obviously, I guess you could just say it's a ripoff of um, Blue's Clue Sorrow, I think, and I think it's a ripoff of another pastas, and he did say the email is similar to that, so... Here's one thing I'm going to say, and I'm not going to sound, you know, harsh or anything. Ashley Armbruster, I'm only doing this because I want to help you get better of your writing. Now, with this email, I'm going to definitely say right now is that I did not like this story. Mainly, be well, the grammar was obviously decent and well done, and same with the sentence structuring. But I think it's just because, you know, some parts of it is just similar to that curry pasta. And I'm going to say right now, if you guys um, ever, you know, rip off of another story, your story will go down to the F zone. And here's the thing. I encourage you not to do that, um, Ashley Armbruster, because that just doesn't make your story scary. That just makes it, you know, look weird, in my opinion. I'm not trying to sound rude. I'm not angry. I'm just um, saying that, you know, what could have been done to make it better is maybe... Maybe it maybe come up with something a little bit different instead of copying and pasting, you know, a letter or something on it. Because to me, I think, you know, just like I think, quote unquote, the shadow reader says it's the lazy man's way out. That's that's exactly what I'm trying to get with with this. I'm not angry. I'm just only doing this review so I can help you get better with your writing, because in this, I think it's a, this is to me that I think this story needs to be improved. Now, I do encourage you, like I said, not to rip off of her stories because, you know, that just doesn't make your story scary. It just makes it, you know, it's just, I guess maybe it's just say, I'm going to say this, it's just the lazy man's way out. I'm just um saying right now, now that it's just making it lazy, it just makes the person feel lazy. Now, I'm not angry. I'm just not ranting on it. That's why I'm not ranting on it, even though I should, but I'm not going to. So I am being nice about it. So I'm not going to sit there and, you know, do any, you know, rants or anything like that on this. But what I could suggest to you, um, um, Ashley Armbruster, is this. I would like you to not rip off of her stories or copy and paste anything. Because, you know, that doesn't make your story scary. It's just, um... It's just the lazy man's way out is what um shadow reader, you know, say at this point. So I just thought, um, just thought, you know, just want to get it like that. So I just thought, you know, I would sit there and, you know, kind of explain. So then that way you get the better understanding. So I definitely um say right now not to rip off any stories and I encourage you to 
expand your mind and write your own story and come up with something a bit different because I'm not trying to say right here, right now, I'm not trying to say I'm rude or anything. I'm not. I'm just saying what could be done is maybe the story could be fixed up a little bit better. You know, then that way it'd be a lot more um, easier in many ways than I could count. I'm just only saying that because I want you to, to get better. So, yeah. I'm just saying that right now. Just, to, just so then you get the... You get the understanding about this. So, of course, this is just um, my own opinion. But, you know, here's the one thing. I could definitely say right now that this story was actually actually pretty good. Well, not good. But what could be improved is maybe this story needs to be, you know, I guess the copy and pasting of the letter could be taken out. And then that way it would be much better. Better. That is just really something. Something. So I'm just saying that. But, you know, I know you could do better, um, Ash Armbruster. I'm not even sure when this was, uh, made, but maybe you could just let me know. But let's just see right here, right now. Okay. I'm gonna say this right here, right now. This is simply my own personal opinion, and if you disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these creep bosses, and this is simply my own personal thoughts. My final read of the story... Zero out of ten. I'm sorry, Ashley Armbruster. That's all I can give it because it's just mainly a little bit of a copy and paste of um of the Blues Clues Sorrow Pasta, the letter mainly. So I just fought, and you know it's cliche too. Well, the 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 startup was decent, but it just went flat from there. I'm just being honest right here, right now. I know you can do better. Just let just um. Take what I have to say with a grain of salt. Yes, I'm trying. I'm saying right now that I'm not trying to sound mean. I'm not. I'm only doing these reviews so I can help you get better with your writing. And I know you could do better. Just take what I have to say as a grain of salt. Anyways, what did you all think about this creepypasta? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what we have done person to help make this story a whole lot better? Leave me now your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I like brand new, because I make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell bell to when I upload so that you guys will get notified. And like always, I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace out and please roll the outro because I'm out.